the advocate and the worldwide resources of here networks this is an advocate.com special report marriage equality in california hello i'm steve kometko and you're watching another advocate.com special report freedom to marry on the first full day that same-sex marriages are once again legal in california same-sex couples are ready willing and finally able to wed we begin our coverage in San Francisco with James Hattori. It's the summer of love all over again for same-sex couples across California. At San Francisco City Hall and in 57 other counties across the state, they lined up for marriage certificates naming Party A and Party B instead of bride and groom. The first couple to tie the knot here Tuesday, Hank Donat and Jeff Halpern, who met in a neighborhood coffee shop eight years ago. Was it important for you guys to be first today? No, what no. was important for me was to marry Jeff Halpern. <laughs> <laughs> this is really special because this is legal and we're equal. And But most important, I get to spend the rest of my life with the man I love. Equality feels good. <laughs> Outside an ad hoc celebration, supporters showing up just to cheer the newlyweds on and revel in their historic victory. The significance wasn't lost on Leah Shigemura and Helen Zia. They were married by city attorney Dennis Herrera, whose legal team was responsible for the court decision which made this day possible. If it weren't for the political, the movement behind it, the whole drive for equality, we wouldn't be here today. It just would never be possible. Marriage equality, not special treatment. We just love each other and want to have a committed life together and be recognized. In an interview with The Advocate, San Francisco Mayor Gavin Newsom reflected on the risk he took to marry gays and lesbians four years ago. Your life is this, and the moment in politics is big. But the one thing that carries with you the rest of your life is a principle, it is the ability to look back and say, I have no regrets. While the joy filling San Francisco City Hall is real and overwhelming, it's also somewhat tempered by a looming battle over a statewide ballot initiative to reinstate the ban against same-sex marriage, which will go before voters in November. This will be the largest battle on an LGBT rights issue in the history of the country. The other side is saying they're going to spend 10, 20, maybe more millions of dollars, and we know we need to match them dollar for dollar. But on this day, politics is taking a back seat to love and recognition. In San Francisco, I'm James Hattori for The Advocate and HEAR Networks. Here in West Hollywood, city officials were expecting a steady flow of marriage license applicants. Early on, it appeared as though their expectations were not only met, but exceeded. Kate and Tori Kuykendall, along with their five-month-old daughter, Zara, were in line early at West Hollywood Park. Although they had a commitment ceremony three years ago, they decided they wanted to legalize their union now that they can. It was important to me to be able to, to get married on this day, and, and it, it wasn't so important to be first in line, but to, to make sure that I got an appointment. We got an appointment today. It was nice being able to call her my wife and have people not bat an eye. I look forward to that. There was a lot of media attention in West Hollywood Tuesday morning. A lot of it directed not just at the historic events unfolding, but also at actor and former Star Trek star George Takei. He and his partner of 21 years, Brad Altman, were issued the very first marriage license at WeHo. They'll actually get married in September. Still, cameras followed their every move to the point of distraction. All the cameras, back up. One step, please. Fair-minded Californians hopefully would embrace the fact that marriage should be available to all Californians. This nation was founded by people fleeing religious tyranny, religious oppression. And now they're using their religion to tyrannize the rest of us. The importance of the day and the recognition of their right to marry by the state Supreme Court was not lost on any of the participants. From city officials to John Heilman to local activists to the same-sex couples actually saying their I do's under marriage cabanas set up by the city. I never thought it would happen in, in, in our lifetime. We didn't go to San Francisco during the winter of love, so now we're having an opportunity during the summer of love, uh, and it's, it's very sweet. This is a huge day in history, and um, you know, we're a small city, and we're just a bunch of activists trying to do the right thing, but we really are. Ha today is a, is a big, big day, and it's a, it's a humbling but profoundly gratifying experience to be a part of all of it. The city of West Hollywood provides a flyer with information about obtaining a license, and answers to frequently asked questions like, do I have to be a resident of Los Angeles County or the state of California to obtain a license? No, is the answer. Now for more on the day's events, Advocate.com's John Carroll reports from San Diego. 
It was the big story of the morning for San Diego media. Television, newspaper, and radio reporters all at the historic county building to cover a historic event. The June gloom of San Diego skies doing nothing to dampen the spirits of couples here, ready to commit themselves to one another. We're geared up and we believe that we will have a smooth operation. Um, you know, it's a project that, that took some, there was a lot of details, and so we've been working pretty hard for the last three weeks to get ready to go, but we believe we are. San Diego County officials were expecting protesters this morning, and they had the security standing by to deal with it. But as of about 9 this morning, only one guy had shown up. This isn't right. The Rosie O'Donnells of the world aren't right. As the protesters shouted at the crowd, another stood silently to answer his message with one of his own. Meantime, hundreds of couples poured into the county building, waiting in line for their chance to get that all-important marriage certificate. And we're doing this also for the generations who come after us, like our grandchildren. Shirley Hall and Sylvia Pamer have been together for 36 years, so they were more than ready to be officially married. A touching scene of vows exchanged was made even more moving by Deputy Commissioner of Civil Marriage Michael Torres. He's done a lot of weddings, but none like this, and the moment was overwhelming. From this very moment, you are now married. Hey, thank you. Thank you. It's my spouse. <laughs> Most couples opted to spend their big moment outside, like Ken Hall and Tom DeBloy, who have been together for 10 years. It's an emotional day, just uh, quite significant in so many ways um, for us personally, and also just recognizing that we're breaking new ground here. The view from San Diego, like elsewhere in California, a scene of love, of commitment, of overwhelming joy at a moment longed for for so long. In San Diego, I'm John Carroll for The Advocate and Here Networks. A final note now, perhaps speaking for everyone lined up to get married in California today, with a nod to his Star Trek past and with an eye to the future, George Takei said, may equality live long and prosper. I'm Steve Kometko. Continue checking in here at advocate.com or pick up The Advocate at your local newsstand for continuing coverage from California of freedom to marry. And if you're one of the newlywed couples, send us your wedding photos. We'd love to post them and share them on your behalf.